Yeah, I wanted to talk about some integrals. The first one I wanted to talk about is the integral of 1 over 1 plus sine x dx. And to solve this, what we are going to do is multiply the top and bottom by its conjugate of the bottom, which is we are going to multiply 1 minus sine x. And 1 minus sine x top and bottom like this, and you still have the dx, right? So on the top, you just, you just have 1 minus sine x. Over the bottom, if you multiply it out, you get 1 minus sine square x. Dx. And what we can do on the bottom is we can switch out to cosine x. So on top, I still have 1 minus sine x, and on the bottom, I'm going to now have cosine square x dx. So what we can do with this is I'm going to split the fraction. So the first one, I'm going to have 1 over cosine square x minus the second one, which is sine x over uh, cosine square x dx. And let's see what do we have. 1 over cosine square is equal to secant square x minus uh, the second one. Let's take a look of this as 1 times sine x, and the cosine square means cosine x times cosine x. So 1 over cosine is again another secant x, and sine over cosine is equal to tangent x, dx. And let me take some notes for you guys, let's say recall. Okay, so uh, the derivative of tangent, this is equal to secant square x, and the derivative of secant x is equal to secant x tangent x. So on the first one, on the first one, this is equal to tangent x, and on the second one, the antiderivative of secant x tangent x is just equal to secant x plus c. Okay, but there, notice that there's actually a problem. So let me make a note right here. Um, if x is equal to pi over two, let's see the integral. What do we get? On the inside, we get one over one plus sine pi over two, and we get one over uh, one plus sine of pi over two is one. So we get one half, which is well defined, right? This for um. This function here is defined when x is equal to pi over 2. But if you take a look of tangent minus secant, if x equal to pi over 2, then we have tangent pi over 2 minus secant pi over 2. But the problem here is tangent pi over 2 means ten, uh, sine pi over 2 over cosine pi over 2 minus uh, secant is 1 over cosine pi over 2. You, um, sine pi over 2 is 1, cosine pi over 2 is 0, and you have 1 minus 0, which is undefined. Whew. Okay, so here's the problem, right? Because if you have x is defined right here for pi over 2, but x pi over 2 is not defined here, so that's the problem, right? And the problem that we have here is because we multiply by top and bottom by uh, the conjugate 1 minus sine x. So to fix that, we have to keep going a little bit. So this is continue. Uh, tangent x means sine x over cosine x, and secant means 1 over cosine x. So what we can do is, this is the same as saying sine x minus 1 over cosine x. And then, you see the cosine x on the denominator is the one that caused the trouble because cosine of pi over 2 gives you the zero, right? So what we're going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by cosine x. So, what we get is, on the bottom we get cosine uh, square x, and on the top you get sine x minus 1 times cosine x. So, uh, on the bottom, cosine square x, we have 1 minus sine square x, and on the top you get sine x minus 1 times cosine x. And on the bottom, we can actually factor this out as uh, 1 minus sine x, 1 plus sine x, right? And on the top, notice that you have sine minus 1. So, what we can do is, we write this as negative parentheses 1 minus sine x, and we still have the cosine x. And then, uh, the 1 minus sine x, they actually cancel each other out, so we have minus a negative, I mean, a negative cosine x over 1 plus sine x plus c. And that's the integral of 1 over 1 plus sine x dx.